What's up YTPC? Jordan here. Just gonna do a quick video on how I make my tampers. I only do uh, pr well, pretty much one style of tamper. Um, and I do it mostly to match all the pipes that I make and I send them off with the uh, pipes I make. So generally I start off with a two and a half inch stainless steel uh, bolt or whatever smooth head um, a leftover piece of acrylic uh, this one was from the bulldog that I made so it's just the leftover of that and then a piece of cut off briar generally so those are the three uh, components um, unless there's other stuff to the pipe that I'm trying to match that's generally what I use um, so in this case I put the bolt I put the wood and then I put the acrylic on this one I think I'm going to try an acrylic at the bottom and just a smaller small wood cap um, right now I'm making the tamper for um, the round um, the uh, I'm gonna call this pipe the chariot I'll do a separate video on that the uh, one comment in the uh, video said to call it the chariot and instantly when I heard him say that and saw it I yeah, that was the name for sure. I know lots of people were saying yo-yo and stuff like that, but the chariot. So I'm making the tamper for this one right now. So there's a gold ring in that one. So I have it glued up. Um, I just use a all-purpose epoxy that's good for wood, plastic, metal, everything. Uh, Two-part epoxy takes about a half hour to dry and cure. So I got the uh, bolt, piece of briar, the acrylic and then I turn down the little part of the acrylic to put the copper ring in and then I just let it sit for I let it usually sit longer than an hour or a half an hour it's still kind of rubbery ish the epoxy after a half hour it's dry and probably strong but I, I don't start sanding on it until it's until it's fully dried so so after uh, the glue ups done, I'll come back and I'll show you uh, just the sanding and the procedure that I use to do that. This one's going to be a little bit more challenging because the copper ring and copper doesn't sand as fast as wood and plastic. So if I have to taper it at all or whatever, it might be a little bit of a challenge. And then also when you sand copper at high speeds, it heats up really, really quickly. So I don't want it to melt into that plastic or ruin the glue up or whatever. So just have to go slow with it. So that's generally how I make the tampers, um, and then they turn out something like this, um, baseball bat style. This one I didn't, um, but normally I shave the bottom of this flat, so on the bolt, instead of it being convex like that, I, uh, sorry it's not focusing, I, I take it to an angle, or um, to the bench grinder and I grind it down so that it's only that little rim of of stainless steel and I always use stainless steel so that when it once it's polished up um, even with ash like I use this one like pretty much daily um, and even with ash and stuff like that it doesn't tarnish you just buff it on your shirt or whatever and, and good to go so no tarnishing no rust um, my thought was tobacco is being smoked but it's somewhat going into your body so I didn't want to put some like zinc plated bolts and stuff like that on it so stainless steel they're a bit more expensive but I don't buy tons of them just for the tampers so that's that's that I'll come back at you once I sand this other one down and I'll show you a little bit more all right back kind of forgot I was doing this video so I got a little ahead of myself here but um, I just got off the sanding wheel um, shaping is all with the sanding wheel you saw the rough blanks and the glue up there um, the ring on this one didn't work out. I uh, ended up sanding through part of the edge of it, so I just peeled it off and then made the tamper still kind of a little bit different looking. But yeah, anyways, the ring didn't work out. It's all good. I just didn't have enough material, and it was a test anyways, so I was able to save this. So this is just basically a 100 grit sanding, um, and then I'll go. It's the same process as my pipes. I just hand sand 100 220 uh, 320 400 and uh, then buffing so here's the flat edge of the tamper so instead of it being curved 
like you saw, um, it's been ground down and then 100 grit sanded as well. And same thing, I go up to 400 and then I just do a buff and it usually shines up pretty nicely. So, so that's that. I'll come back at you once these are done. All right, here we go. Two tampers finished, polished, stained. Uh, sorry for the shake cam, my tripod that I've been using broke, so I'm holding the camera instead. Um, but yeah, here we go. So this is the uh, yellow and black one to, ma to match the um, chariot pipe, or yo-yo, or whatever pipe. You can see the bottom. And then this one is going to be for the poker that I do, or that I did here um, with the white stem, but I used the entire blank for the white stem. Um, so I didn't have any cutoffs to make a matching tamper, but I had this black and uh, white swirl left over from my bulldog one, so I used that. I did a angled top here on these both. Um, first time I've done the angled top ones, I usually do round or square, but I figured I'd do some angled top ones. So that's that, that's the uh, tamper and the flat bottom. So those are the two, uh, two tampers, one to match this guy. Like I said, the ring didn't work out on the tamper, um, but it, uh, it still matches, it's still the same kind of thing. And then the other one is going to be for the poker I just made. Like I said, I didn't have any leftover uh, white and black. I normally use a cutoff piece leftover for that, but I used the entire piece of uh, stem for this mouthpiece. So, so that's that. That's kind of how I do my tappers. Um, it's kind of an unsaid thing, but all my pipes have come with tampers. I just, like I said, I like to use up the uh, the leftovers um, and and use every bit of the pieces of briar and, and acrylic that I get. So, so that's that. You guys have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.